we are already recording, and we should just get into it. Um, no introductions needed. You guys know who we are. If not, you're going to know. Anyways. Ow. Uh, <laughs> I really wanted to start this off with um, with funniest tweets. <laughs> just reading about Oh man. <laughs> I wish I would have been prepared. No, let's so... do it. Let's do it. Uh obviously this is gonna be our first podcast together. If you don't know. My name's Cisco. I'm Ratu or Ratu or Artu. How is it how is it uh phonetically said in Indonesian? Phonetically? How, what's the proper pronunciation? No, I just want to know what phonetically means. Phonetically meaning the exact pronunciation. That's what, that's what phonetically means. Ah. At least that's what I think it is. If not, I'm stupid. And we're going to cut Phonetically, that out. like root word. No. Phonics. <laughs> Ebonics. <laughs> <laughs> Robotics. <laughs> 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 How is it supposed to be said? Like, if if people from Indonesia don't speak English, come and they see your last name, how would they pronounce it? Ratu, Ratu, Ratu. Yeah, which okay. is the R rolls, but it's like it's it's it doesn't. There's not technically a correct way. Like, but I've heard way. I've heard you I've heard you pronounce your last name as Ratu. It's before. because it's just easier. Because when I say like Ratu, they're like, oh, Radu. Ra-. So I kind of like just enunciate it for people to just know what it is. But yeah, it's Ratu. Brian Ratu. No, but I've heard you I've heard you announce it, enunciate it like Ratu. Like Ratu? the two is, mm-hmm. that's where, like, where I say it, Ratu. Yeah, Ratu. Yeah. But a second ago, you said, my name is Brian Ratu. Ratu. Yeah. It's because... And that's not technically the proper way to say it, but it's just I'm saying it the way I want people to hear it. And then the after, way you want people to hear it. So do you want me to say Ratu? No, 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 no. Because no. I'm, I'm no. Ratu. It's been, it's been <laughs> one week since you looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've known each other like 16 years now, bro, and I've I've said Ratu the whole time. I just want to let you know it's actually uh, I swear pronounced man. Two. <laughs> Brian Two. <laughs> Oh. I would have been saying it the whole time. Hey, run to <laughs> two, <laughs> two, come here! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, but no, Ratu, Ratu is, but it is Ratu, Ratu, yeah, Ratu. The R is rolled oh. twice, three times. <laughs> Ratu. <laughs> it's like eight R's. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's Ratu. Ratu. But I, I think I've just manifested it to raw too because it's just it's just easier for people to know it and say it. So I think also in like uh, American English, the way that that phonetically like it's it's sounded out by syllable. You say phonetically again, it's throwing me off. <laughs> What? Because I'm dyslexic, I can't know. No, because I'm turning SAT dys- words. <laughs> I'm turning dyslexic now. I'm just over trying to spell it. it. <laughs> Liar. Okay, but like if I were to see raw to the way it's spelled out, like I would pronounce it like raw to. Mm, yeah. Uh, unless I see like an accent mark to no. extend the O or the A or mm. or I forget the the different ones. There's like like muted or mold or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, before we get into tweets, <coughs> I found this uh, article. I thought this would be this would be great. Oh this boy. would be great. So this is um, weird things doctors have said to patients. <laughs> Number one on what's this your, list. What, what's your sign, Scorpio? You sure it isn't <laughs> cancer? <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> okay. So sorry. Uh, number one, my surgeon during surgery to replace pins I broke in my finger that had been pushed out by my own body said, I'm really going to get them in there this time, you little freak of nature. During surgery. 
I don't want to hear that as I'm dying <laughs> from anesthesia. My my thing is, why are you awake? <laughs> well, it's in the hand, right? <laughs> but I would, I'd be livid. <laughs> I'd be like, you what? <laughs> Wake up like an hour later. You what? <laughs> don't call me a little freaking nature, bro. That's out of pocket. <laughs> it's just wild. <laughs> so, oh, he a freak freak. <laughs> I'd, That's I'd, why you get in this procedure, huh? I would lose every respect. I would change my insurance, the whole thing. I'm moving, I'm moving somewhere else. It's not Ratu anymore. It's two. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm moving away. Okay. This one's wild. So this one uh, says, I was living in a foreign country and had God. a flu slash cold type illness. Went to the doctor. And he said, comes or he comes in eating a bowl of cereal. Already weird. Check some things that says, do you know what AIDS is? <laughs> it continues. It continues. Uh, I'm completely in shock and say, yes, I do. He follows up with, that's a virus and there's no cure. Finally, he ends with, but you don't have that virus. You have a different one. <laughs> Much more common and treatable. <laughs> but I wanted you to understand why an antibiotic wouldn't work. <laughs> what? <laughs> foreign countries. <laughs> and healthcare is free in, in a lot of foreign countries. <laughs> he said, <laughs> do you know what AIDS is? <laughs> I would lose my mind. By the way, this is the first time I'm reading them too. So I, I literally just pulled this up <laughs> off of this off of BuzzFeed's website. What that's kind of cereal? Yeah, what, what kind of cereal? What kind of cereal was he eating? Uh, that's that's, that, I, that's how I would know. I would I could trust my doctor. What kind of cereal do you eat? <laughs> what if he's eating like Wheaties? <laughs> that's a given because he's a doctor, so they're kind of like healthy. Okay, but what if okay what if he's eating only Lucky Charms uh, marshmallows? <laughs> <laughs> not not even the server, just the marshmallows. He's eating the marshmallows? Just the marshmallows. Oh, he's, he's down with the, the game. The marshmallows. The marshmallows are good. What, okay, so what's off-putting then? Those are two extremes. It's like really healthy and like really bad for you. But that, that my thing is just like, you, yeah, that is two extremes. But like a doctor eating like sugary cereal, and if, he's, if he looks like, you know, in good shape, that'd be like, all right, cool. I think kicks. Just kicks? A, yeah. Just a, just bland cornflakes. I wouldn't trust him. Wheaties? Eating... Wheaties is bland as hell. What are you talking it about? It is, but I mean, Wheaties, look at Wheaties' marketing is like the U.S. U, the Team USA basketball is always on there. There's always like athletes that eat your Wheaties. Who the fuck's on cornflakes? <laughs> Nobody. Who's on kicks? Nobody. Just looks bland as hell. Hey, I remember kicks as a kid being great. And then I remember trying them like, like, years later and I was just like this doesn't taste like anything oh you see there you go Wheaties doesn't taste like anything but for damn sure I'm gonna eat it because there was Wayne Gretzky on the fucking cover <laughs> or Team US <laughs> just down in it <laughs> maybe oh, throw some sugar on top of my mom's not looking yo that's that's actually nutty <laughs> but if he's eating kicks or yeah cornflakes fuck out of here <laughs> I call my I can call my sister and call my mom right now. I uh, we have my my pediatrician doctor. Would, you know I don't know if, I don't know when you stop going to them, but I remember I think one of my last years of going to them before I had to like go up to like another doctor. And I remember my mom, my sister being there. I was still pudgy there, and I remember he just did not. He hasn't seen me in a while. He goes, "Oh, you're so big, Asian doctor too, so big. If I give you a shot, you might pop." You see, as a kid, I didn't get it. Like it was like, "Oh, okay, haha," but. Knowing it, that's a solid joke. It, that, it's that fucked is, up. It's fucked a solid. That's <laughs> a solid joke. And I'll never forget. My mom was just in tears, just just, <laughs> it. just, just her in the in, in the corner of the doctors, like in Mama, the no. that patient room. Just no. <laughs> never liked them. You know that joke was for your mom. That, that joke was. I don't give a damn. <laughs> yeah, that joke is definitely for your mom. <laughs> that's wild. Now on to. Funniest tweets. Uh, this was actually a little while ago, but these are um, 
tweets from parents. Oh, boy. Okay. <clears throat> tweets from parents. This one says, someday, God willing, I will attend my children's weddings. Uh, and I will refuse to eat anything they serve and demand butter noodles and nuggets. I'd be hot. You know what? <laughs> I can't. I feel for that, but I can't feel for that on level because I was never a picky eater. But I get that. <laughs> I so would get that. <laughs> that if, my, if Brighton, my little brother, gets married and he has this like whole <clears throat> just spends hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars on his on his menu items, I'd be like. Soup and rice, please. Soup and rice. Egg drop, oh, yeah. egg drop, soup and rice, please. <laughs> oh, that's his go-to. Huh? That, that's his go-to. <laughs> and then once in a while, the Vienna sausages. I remember we ate like sometime last, like summer last year, and you were like, "You still eat the same, man? Broccoli, beef, white rice. We're at a buffet. Eat." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. He was. He definitely <laughs> ate the same thing still. <laughs> yeah, one chicken wing. <laughs> Dude's still fourteen, and every time my mom gives him something, he does the whole like. Like, why are you sniffing it, dog? Just eat it, bro. <laughs> you weren't you weren't a picky eater as a kid. No, because you like I think you especially like in in a in a household like mine, or like immigrant household, is just like you eat what's on the table. You eat what's what's cooked. You don't have a choice, and if you don't like it, yeah, you ain't eat. You just don't just go hungry. So I, yeah, I think I think there was one point. I think when I was like really young, up until like. I don't know, like five or six. I don't know what age that I would only eat eggs and rice. Like that's it. Maybe it's like more towards like the end of the generation because I was never a picky eater. I'd eat whatever I could. I forgot how my sister was when she was eating. Oh, she just took so long to eat. Just oh, kept the food eater? in her mouth. Just ew, it <laughs> dog swallow just... it <laughs> exactly. And she'd always do the backwash thing, like you give her water. Oh, ew. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's disgusting. That was my sister. And hey. and she just takes so long to eat it. She just didn't want to eat. How do I, I try to wonder how do people not understand to not let the water back into the bottle? It's like You see, even me as a kid, I knew that that was just like not the thing to do. Yeah. If I uh I that's gross. If I were to see like a bottle of water, right? And like I were to take and there's chunks uh, you know, I think that was uh, I think that was one of my main things was just like I remember growing up, we go into a restaurant, obviously like, you know, your parents are on a budget, but like you can get like a uh like a soda or whatever, but you would have to share with your sibling. Mm. I'd always try to finish mine as fast as I can oh, because I I had. know the moment I have to share with her, it's a wrap. Yeah. And it pissed That's... me off like mid drink, she'd get it and like drink it, and then I see the particles of rice and I'm I'm dumping it, getting like yeah. washing it. Yeah, yeah. I'll there. ask for a new cup, but then yeah. they're like, oh, depending on the place, like, oh no, we can't do that or whatever. But I'm just like, I don't know. Yeah, with like with me, like that's what my mom would always praise me about. Like besides the spicy food, I'll always eat it. But like even if my mom made spicy food, she'd always make an alternative just in case. But I'll always eat it. I'll okay. finish it, and then like, leftovers, it'll like it'll be there. I'll eat it. And then my sister, I just can't remember what my sister was, but yeah, all I remember was just her taking too long to eat. Always keeping the food in her mouth. The backwash was just disgusting. Um, That's so gross. She's about to be a mom now. <laughs> That's hilarious. And then my brother is still the <laughs> just rice. Just needs to have his rice and soup or chicken nuggets. See, okay, this is funny though because I've noticed I'm I'm the youngest yeah. child from my parents, uh, but my uh, one of my sisters has four children. Yeah. Um, I don't know how my parents were with my eldest sisters because <coughs> we're like, I don't know, like 20, 30 years apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we're, we're, we're a good like separation. Some of you guys are like, what the hell? But uh, I have said that before. Um, but I've noticed with my sister specifically, she was very like nitpicky and very specific with things with her first child. Like she she boil the 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 bottles the tops to the to like the the milk bottles and stuff or the juice bottles, mm-hmm. you know the what are they called the little nipple things? 
I know what you're talking about. I, I don't know the I don't know the name. I, I <laughs> but she would boil it, sanitize it, do yeah, all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then like as the children kept coming on, she just like stopped doing it. She got like a little bit well, more. Well, because relaxed. yeah, you're like your first kid, you become the most paranoid. Like you like everything has to be right. Gotta have you gotta pad the corners. Plug the outlets. Yeah. You know, uh double lock the sliding door even though there's one lock. You gotta triple lock the front door. Yeah. Like I get it, right? And then like you you learn that you do all the stress for nothing because, granted, if they do hit their head, or whatever, it's like okay, you know, yeah. you're gonna get up and learn, and they won't do it again. Yeah. So like by the time your second or third child is, it's not like you don't care. It's just like you kind of learn. Like yeah. you don't have to. You don't have to do. You don't have to stuff. baby them as much, but they still get baby. No. <laughs> My youngest brother is the biggest baby in the world, and I just like, ah. Anyways, <laughs> no, you don't baby them as much, but they still get baby. That's no. That's just what I was about to say though, because. Your mom is much more lax than you. It is, and it's like it's like with you, with you and your sister. Oh my she god, she was, dude, hammer. Like, 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 high school, right? All of high school, my biggest thing was like always drawing on my hand, mm-hmm. and my mom would see it, be like, "What, what is that? Huh? You want a tattoo? <laughs> no, like, pop, pop, pop. And here we are, right? Tattoos." She's fine with it. But then, <laughs> well, now you're a grown ass man. Yeah, yeah, but, but, uh, but like, you know, yeah. But here's the thing is just like, she was fine with like the tattoo coming, my sister getting one, right? But I just remember my brother, like last year, had like some colors on, like some drawing on his hand. And I was like, Mom, you remember this right here? Anytime me or even Felicia, Chichi would have this on our hands, you would like give us a smackdown. Look at this. Brian, Brighton has it on his hand. You're saying like, nothing. You know what the, the, the audacity that she said? She was like, He's just being creative. <laughs> Where's my creativity, Bob? Where was He's just expressing himself. <laughs> oh, man, I was hot. <laughs> I would have screamed. <laughs> There's another one. My my brother had, like, a face painting, like, from school. And it. my mom, my mom's biggest thing growing up was, like, no, no pictures of skulls. Nothing that represents death. Like, a, if I had a shirt with a skull on, like, that's a no-go. Throw it yeah. in the trash. My brother literally had a... His face painted as a skull. Same thing. Me and my sister like blew up the chat. We're like, look at this. If it, if it was me or Chichi, we would you would ask us to pick a belt. And, and he goes, oh, he's just. It's not my fault. It's not your guy. It's not my fault that he's uh, just being uh, creative and he's very creative than you guys. No, my, I would. Lo- I remember I, I posted it on Instagram and everyone laughed, but I was like, this is not funny. This is traumatizing. No, this, is, this is. I would have got beat. <laughs> I would have got beat. <laughs> For me, oh, I mean, I can only base on mine. Mine was average. Yeah. But hearing yours against mine, you had it rough. <laughs> oh man, I had the- you had it <laughs> rough, bro. Like you know, it's the how, I don't know how the first child gets the shit end of the stick because technically it's supposed to start from somewhere. How do we start from the shit end of the stick? <laughs> <laughs> but because like for. For me, well, actually, I think a lot of uh, Filipinos, they deal with this, where their parents lecture them a lot. Yeah, yeah. The lecture, I mean, Joe Coy's made jokes about it. Uh, plenty of Filipino comedians have made jokes about it. Where it's like, just enough. Just hit me, please. Yeah, 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 my yeah. mom. Yeah. She did both. Yeah. She did both. Yeah, and you know what? Sometimes <laughs> the, the speech comes in clutch because i'm over here like (laughs) (laughs) when when (laughs) everything is still like stinging i'm like yeah just keep talking just keep talking (laughs) when you have to when you're crying so hard that you have to catch your breath (laughs) oh dude i I hated every time that i got like that like it it's just like you it's the worst feeling because it's like as a child, you don't know. It's like anxiety, fear, yeah, 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 the pain yeah. of getting yeah. hit, yeah. the the level of of disappointment that you've given your parents. It's like so many different things yeah, yeah. that you don't understand. And just like, <laughs> it's just a whole bunch of emotions. Yeah, and that's right. That's what it is. Your body's just trying to catch up on what it's feeling, and you can't you can't process it. So you forgot how to breathe, and you're just. <laughs> <laughs> My sister was the biggest one of that one. Me, I I was able to hold in as, as soon as I got older. But Felicia was a love you. Yeah. Chichi was a big crier. She her biggest thing was always a. <laughs> and my mom would be like, jump, like shut up, like just and she go, and then she do the. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! And 
just just there, just eyes bulging. Just I'd lose. <laughs> I, I, oh my god! I remember one time though. You were telling me. Actually, I, I want you to tell the story. Oh shit! Uh, because I remember you telling me, and the way you built that up was so funny. It was <coughs> one time you you got in trouble for something, but you hid everything. But then your mom remembered something specifically from an instrument. I, I ain't gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest you with don't you. Remember? I don't remember. Okay. I, the the way that you told me was like you were getting in trouble for something, and you knew you knew when your mom got home, she was whooping your ass. Yeah. She was whooping your ass. So you hid everything. You hid the spatulas, the spoons, the belts. Like you hit you hit uh, the. Was it the, was it the. I think I know what you mean. Like whatever she could hit me with. Yeah. That, I I know this one specifically was it was more so of the belts. Yeah, she hit me with all the other it's the belts cuz that's where my mom had more leeway. You know how belts are. They're very flexible so they uh, could just whip mid air just Yeah. Right? So, mm-hmm. I I I remember one specific moment was I thought I won up there. I was just like I'm hiding the belts and I'm just keeping the flimsy ones. Right? And I remember she goes Go get a belt. My mom would with was stone cold. She wouldn't even go run. She didn't want the fear of her coming with the belt where I have to run. She left me no choice to go pick basically her weapon. So I'm over here. Got the got the flimsiest one. Ah, beat that. Get, get my mom the belt, and she goes, "Oh, you think you think you you think you're smarter than me?" So it's the flim. It's a flimsy belt of my dad. My dad was a pastor, so he had like thirty belts. Yeah, don't know why. But this one was just like a broken belt, like the leather was splitting. Like if you just like it was nothing. Yeah. So she goes, "You think you're smart, huh?" Flips the belt over. <laughs> the buckle side. The buckle side starts swinging it like a mace, and the fear in my eyes—I'll <laughs> never forget. Like my my sigh of relief, like giving my mom the belt. I'm like, I'm gonna act like this. This whipping's about to hurt. What is she doing? <laughs> <laughs> Swings it at me, and I remember I fell, chipped to the floor, and I'm over here <laughs> just crawling back. And I'm like, "If she's gonna hit my feet, I'd rather take that." And that was one of the few times where I was like, "I can't outsmart my mom." <laughs> that was that was I, I'll just never forget that that was I was always scared when I got my ass beat. I was just more scared at that time because I just knew I've never got hit with the buckle before. <laughs> <laughs> and I already hate getting hit by the leather end of the belt, yeah. but by the buckle, man. <laughs> you know, I feel like my mom has used the buckle on me once before, but I honestly can't remember. I do, I knew, I do know I've gotten the belt a few times. Question: Have you ever had? Has your dad ever had to punish you? He's he's done it a few times, and he's all and like the handful of times that he had to was because my mom asked him to. My dad was more of a laid back. He would just mind his own business and be like, kids will be kids. Yeah. That's how I saw it. So, like, when he had to step in, it's because my mom had to. Now, if he ever had to hit me, it was because I probably... I remember one of the few times was because I called my sister stupid in front of my friends. But I didn't mean it in a very ill intent way, but I get it. Yeah. But I, I remember he called me over to his office, and he never really does, especially when my friend's over. He just leaves me alone. And I was like, oh, maybe I forgot something. And he was like, come here. And then he, I remember he just backhanded me, and he had, like, his hand with rings. And then I was just doing this. I was like, the heck did I do? And I just remember he said, don't ever say the word stupid. Don't ever call your people stupid. I was like, oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah. He does care. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yeah. I remember one time, <coughs> my dad, Matt, I don't know what I did. I just remember, I don't even think he hit me. I think he did, like, gave me a firm talking. I was young, though. I was just like, I was crying, sobbing at the at the, ed- at the edge of his bed. I was in tears, like, and like I could hear the anger and pain mm-hmm. in his voice. I was just like, "Oh my God, don't mess with Dad, because if, if, if this how he is just talking, that this is his speech, this is his talk no jutsu. Who knows what this man is capable of? Fucking oh, I was, I was so like I never did it, but with my mom." She'd always guilt trip me uh, when lecturing me mm-hmm. and speaking. Me. <laughs> yeah, that I always part. Started, Why do you want me to die? Why do you want me to die? I hated that. 
I don't want huh? you to die, Mom. No, like... I didn't think this was going to have any repercussions. All I did was talk back. <laughs> what do you mean it's going to kill you? Oh, bro, talking back? Let me tell you something. I hate... I remember one time I tried. I didn't... I wasn't, like, talking back. It was answering the goddamn question. Bro! I'm answering your question. Why did you do it? Oh, I wanted to... You talking back? No! I'm answering you. Let me answer you. It's just like, like, and then it's so bad. Yeah, and it's like the whole like, oh, um, he's like, oh yeah, you better answer when I talk to you, right? And then like I do, and then I get I get punished for it. Yeah, because I guess wrong timing. But I was a kid; I didn't know how to read the room. Yeah, <laughs> my bad, mom. Let me just let you go off, and then I'll talk. Oh uh, man, I remember I'd be having fun at like a family party or something, playing with all the other little kids, whatever. Just, just horse playing and stuff and then she'd come over or like she called me over and like I'd be in trouble then I'd just sit down I'm like what did I do that everyone else wasn't doing they were all playing with me yeah what did I do specifically that was bad I don't know but I would say I was pretty rambunctious as a kid I was I was pretty wild let me let me I, I, I googled right now worst punishments you received as a child <laughs> so I just wanted to read through a couple of these <laughs> okay uh, went to school in Saudi Arabia. Teacher threw me, literally, <laughs> into a darkened room because I dared to ask for help for the third time with my work. Jesus. I think she wanted me to understand that that seeing my work was the problem, not her shitty teaching. <laughs> Another one. Uh, my mother beat me with the buckle end of the belt and proceeded... Uh, to put a pillow over my face until I stopped moving. Oh, my God. This murder. Oh, my goodness. Because I went across the street to talk to some boys, my classmates, in eighth grade at 11 p.m. Ah, okay. I kind of get that. Uh, kind of. But, but the pillow the over the yeah. face is Until wild. stop moving? So, oh, so no. basically when I'm dead? You smother your child now. That's what so basically doing. when I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> basically when I need air and I don't have any more, that's when you're going to stop. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Let's see here. Uh, again, hitting with the belt, hitting with the belt. Uh, Dad slammed the door on my head multiple times. <laughs> I think I blacked out from it. Dog, are you I okay? Should, I should laugh at that. It's <laughs> dark. I shouldn't laugh at that, but that's dark. It's hey, the door. Hey, that's a banger. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, man. He said lights out. <laughs> you better not slam a door in my house. <laughs> you want to slam doors? No more locked doors. <laughs> Instead of grounding me, they took away my Walkman. That is the most light <coughs> punishment ever. What the heck? Actually, <clears throat> for me, if they took my iPod away, I probably would have cried. If they took your iPod away? If they had, they never did. They would, they would say, like, be like, no TV. Like, for me, like, you know, I think, like, for you, like, I, I really love music. So if they had taken my iPod away, which they never did, thank God. God knows what I think where I would have been. <laughs> See, here's the thing. I grew up in a nicer neighborhood that started to turn ghetto. Mm -hmm. Right? And, you know, I made friends with, with kids and stuff in the neighborhood. And back then, we would leave our front doors unlocked. Like everybody's front door in my neighborhood would be unlocked. Yeah, yeah. But everybody being like hood ass kids, everybody stealing from each other. Like, and I just remember like I'd always get fucking robbed by like a friend or like a friend's brother or something. Jeez. Like they'd steal my like my, my CD player or like my my fucking Game Boy. Oh no, my Game Boy Color. I remember it was the first Game Boy I ever had. <sighs> uh, it was it was a limited edition like Pikachu one. Okay. So it was like it was yellow in the front, blue on the back. It was like Oh I think my okay, godmother okay. gave it to me and it came with Pokemon Yellow. Okay, like, yeah, yeah. It's fucking dope. And I was like, I was playing it, like doing that shit. And if and like I remember I got stolen. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, he did. He did. I went to all my friends, who fucking took it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who yeah. took it? No, I didn't take no one I was like, oh whatever. Fuck you. I'm joining this game. I want to steal shit. I'm stealing your shit now. Yeah. None of y'all are safe. Yeah. So I know I know for a fact there was one Game Boy floating around the neighborhood for like a good two years. 
uh, everyone had. This I'm done with this. Here you go. You want this big and cheap cake, bro? <laughs> Everybody had. No, no. It was. It was. Uh, it was a different one. The different oh, one wasn't okay. my yellow one. I never saw my yellow one again. Sad. But uh, it was a. Uh, it was like a teal one, but it's still Game Boy Color. It was floating around across the neighborhood. Like I had it at one point. Uh, a few of my friends had it. Some other neighborhood kids. At had At this it. point, y'all were just bor- borrowing. Yeah, it was, uh, that's the community Game Boy. <laughs> 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 Everybody shares that. Game I had boy. it for like three weeks. I was surprised y'all let me have it for that long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I finished, I, I finished Pokemon twice. I beat the Elite Four eight times. What are y'all talking about? I'm like, <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> I was, it was so irritating because I was like, we didn't know any better, and our parents actually, it was kind of like an Ed, Ed, and Eddie situation where mm. parents like didn't get involved with the kids' social network in yeah, the neighborhood. Yeah. Only if things got serious, like someone got into a fight or whatever. But I was just like, like the kid, like none of the parents ever knew. So it's like, if someone went missing, it's like, damn, you should have kept it. You should have kept it hidden better. Should have kept it hidden better. I, I remember one time my sister had some of her friends over. So they were like, like middle schoolers. Yeah. Right. Um, some of them were even older, like in high school. And uh, like, I remember for the longest time, my bedroom door was broken. It could not close. The hinge, the hinge, uh, the frame on the door was like fucked. Oh, okay. So like my door is basically just leaning up against the wall. So I, uh, like it was late as fuck. I don't know where my parents were, but it was late as fuck. I was already in bed sleeping. Like I wake up, uh, cause my sister's waking up. She's like, Hey, wake up. We have guests. I was like, huh? And all of them are in my fucking room. I'm sleeping. I'm like, fuck it up. Like. I didn't know any better. I was like, I'm embarrassed because I'm I'm sleeping. Like I walk out of my room. I'm like, I'm going to the bathroom. I was wearing pajamas. I was like, I don't want you guys to see me in my underwear. I, I ran to the bathroom. Yeah. And like, uh, I yelled at Francis, get them out of my room. Oh, was it Francis? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, like, get them out of my room. Get them out of my room. I don't want them. Like, this is my pet monkey. Yeah. I just adopted <laughs> yeah. him, <No>. Francisco. <laughs> I was I was so mad. But then like they leave. It is again. It's late. I'm like, all right, whatever. I go to sleep. I wake up. I realize these motherfuckers stole shit. They stole like some burnt CDs that I had. They stole like a, a can of Axe body spray. Like I said, like, what the fuck are y'all doing? I was so mad though because I was like, like I mean, burnt CDs back then. Like I didn't have a computer and like my friend, like I had to go to school. And be like, hey, can you make this CD for me with this that? Get it back like the next day or something. So it was kind of like a collection that I had to build up. Yeah, yeah. The Axe body spray is something that I like. I saved up my lunch money to get. Yeah. I was like, okay, I'm going to need this. Right? So I was so heated. The fact that our neighborhood was like this. That shit was irritating as fuck, though. Like, I was like, man, this is why I'm ghetto. I mean, shoot. I, <laughs> I remember when I had the Game Boy SP. I got it for I got it for Christmas or my birthday. Either or. I mm-hmm. think it was for my birthday. It was a red one. And I remember the neck, the very, my mom was like, don't ever bring it to school. There's mm-hmm. no point of you having school. But you being a kid, want to show it off with you. Yeah. Doing? Oh, that's it. That's you bring mistake. it to school. That's a mistake, Showing bro. the kids. I made that the mistake. Game Boy SP. Gosh, show, show, show the game. Show the other games that you got. Right? You know, put it in your desk. You know, with a little desk where you have your crayons and everything. I remember, I remember towards the end of the day, I did the whole like checking in my desk thing while the teacher's like talking and I just And it wasn't there. I don't feel it. Oh. Heart's dropping. My I'm sweating. I'm over here like, where did I leave it? You know? Like I didn't let any of my friends like I, the only time I let my friends like use it is just to like or I like I had my friends play with it, but then I made sure I get it back. I didn't like leave I made sure I didn't leave my site. Unless I like I put it in my desk and I stepped away for a bit. So it's gone. Bell rings and the school. Oh, no. And I'm over here just, just do, 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 like freaking out, asking my teacher, like, did anyone turn in a Game Boy SP? No. I know I'm not supposed to have it, but I think I lost it. Nope. No, they and didn't. And then he, like, asked me, did you show your friends? I was like, yes. He goes, they probably have it. And I go, watch. And no one's going to admit and, it. And, and this was, uh, this was at a school where it was like I was basically in just behind the school, so like I would just I would have I wouldn't even walk no more than half a mile. 
So I'm walking home the slowest ever because I'm over here thinking like, what excuse can I tell my mom yeah. about the the Game Boy? Obviously, it's lost. Some of you are like, oh god, I'm like what am I gonna do? Yep. I don't know what made me come to this resolution, but I ended up. Oh yeah, that's right. I just I remember. I think I asked three of my because I like all those kids that were at that school. Basically, like I I knew them. They lived in my neighborhood. Mm-hmm. So I remember I went to like three of my my friends that were like neighbors, like a uh, couple down, couple streets down. Yep. I'd ask him like, who do you think would have it? Because I knew they wouldn't have it. Like they were that that close. And I just remember like the same name kept being brought up, and I was just like, where does he live? And they go, I don't know, but it's for sure more the streets in front of the school. So I go, and the way our school set up, like it's kind of hard to explain, but it's like our school's here, the street, and then there's already like streets of houses okay. in front of it yeah. and it's like cul-de-sac so there's no way like if you go all the way to the end like it so it's easy so i did what i had to do start at the, the you went the, down each house knock door to door door to door ask for this kid this kid uh isaro is it's not Isaro, but it's, i think it's isaro i-s-s-a-u-r-o mm. and i just remember knocking each door is it isaro? yeah isaro it's his last name is with a p and i remember does he does he live here now next one Next one, next one, next one, next one. Sure enough, and it felt like it. It felt like it was the last house. Happened to be him. And I remember um, the mom said, who? I said, Isaro. And she was like, Saro, Saro. He was like, yeah, 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 him. Asked back and forth. She goes, no, not here. And I was like, can I talk to him? And he goes, he's he's busy doing homework. And I was just like, okay. And I was like, I remember asking, uh, telling her specifically, like, if, you see a red Game Boy SP, please let me know because it is, it's mine. Or if he thinks he knows someone. And she goes, okay. As I leave, and I think I'm actually going to a couple more houses, like two more before the end of my trip here. Because if not, I got I to gotta explain to my mom. And she catches me going to the next house and says, I thought this wasn't his. And then she showed it to me. And he, this mother, he wrote on it. He initialed. He scratched into my SP and putting SP on it yeah. for his initials, even though his name. But I was just like, I'll never forget that because I remember just, just being like a sigh of relief. Yeah. Showed my mom and said, and I, and I was a good, you know, I was, I still lied a lot, <laughs> but I was good. I, well, I owned up. I owned up. Right. I told my mom I was like, mom, I, I'm sorry. I brought the Game Boy to school. Someone stole it, but I got it back. <laughs> huh? Yeah? No, she whooped your ass. Whooped my ass. <laughs> whooped my fucking ass, bro. I was hot. <laughs> Wait, Best so believe, you- though, later, later on that night, you know, when I was... You can't play that. Oh, dude, I'd be fucking livid. But the fact that you got it back, though, hey, kudos to you. That was the biggest, like, I think that was my biggest triumph of, like, of getting could have gotten the most trouble, but then I didn't because I saved it. Yeah. Suck up my asshole. <laughs> yeah, it would have been much worse if you went home empty-handed. My mom probably would be like, "Don't come back home until you had it in your hand." Because oh, really? she she did that once before, and it was it's I know it's stupid, but it was it was for chapstick, and it was like those kids chapstick. I already had like a hook. All I gotta do is hook it to my backpack, you know, apply it once twice a day. And I just remember, I think I kept it in my pocket. You know, play, Run ha- around. play in, uh, play in tag, yeah. and uh, I and I'll never forget what I did to lose it because I know that was the move that I did to lose it. <laughs> I, <laughs> Real quick. No, it was so this guy was chasing me. I didn't like him. I'm trying to remember, I think it's Andrew, Drew, whatever. Didn't like him. Here I am booking it right, and I was just, I'm gonna make this mother eat shit. Mm-mm-mm. Dead rolled, made him. Trip over me, and I just saw him eat shit just across the field. Just, I was like, I know I'm it, but it was worth the price. <laughs> and as soon as I get back, and as soon as I get back to my class because recess was over, I was like, lost, lost it, gone. Yep. It's So said, go get it back. So I go, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm, I'm like, whatever. I go to the outside of school. My mom's with the the car. 
Mm-hmm. And I told her I lost the chapstick right off the bat. I, I didn't even wait till I got home. I was I was being. You know what? That's why I continued to lie because every time I fessed up to something, I still got beat. So that's why I kept <laughs> lying because I was just like, "There's no point of telling the truth. I'm still gonna get in trouble." <laughs> so I I'm thinking about this now. I don't understand. No, but anyways, no, I was my mom put the car in park because she was like she was like pulling up as I was walking. I was telling her she was coming to a stop sign. She goes puts it in park. She goes. Go find it, and don't come back until you you find it. I'm gonna park in the parking lot. I was like, "Well, damn, dog." Yeah. So, and you know, at the end end the school, like you can still play in the playground in elementary. So the, the yep. sk- kids still playing, and they have those like teacher assistants that are like watching. Yep. I I remember just just tearing up a little bit, and then I was telling her, I was telling this teacher, I was like, "I'm looking for my chapstick. I dropped it here." She goes, "Okay, we'll look for it." I don't think it was more than five minutes. She gave up. She was just like, I don't think it's here, honey. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Just tell your mom you lost it. I'm over- I did. I'm over here. Just- <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I remember saying, you don't understand. <laughs> I already did. <laughs> That's why I'm here looking for it. <laughs> you told her. I don't think I don't understand. <laughs> she has the belt ready in the car. <laughs> Whether I have it or not, whether I tell the truth or not, I'm still gonna get my ass beat. So help me look for this chapstick, please. Uh, and I think I eventually found it after like maybe 20, 30 minutes, all beat up, dirty, <laughs> and I never used that chapstick again. But I remember, you had it. It. yeah, I brought it to my mom. Yeah. Very silent ride home. And then she still whoop your ass. Fuck yeah. God. She waited till she got to a red light, and she just. Pop, 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 pop. Got a couple clean ones. Oh, man. I'm just That's there. Rough. Just in that corner. Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You want McDonald's? <laughs> I remember we got McDonald's just specifically that day, too. Because of it. Because I found it. Because but I still got my that ass That was your beat. reward. But I still got my ass beat. But you, but you got your ass up for losing it to begin with. <laughs> Chicken nuggets were extra salty that day. Let me tell you. <laughs> Why are they so wet? Why are these boys? It's soggy. <laughs> oh, bro. That's fucking... That's so bad. Yeah, for me, it was just like... Like, never smoking, never happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, for, for, for me as a kid. Even between, like, my sister and shit. Like, there would be things that happened where uh, it was inevitable. Yeah. Like, that needed... Like, someone needed to take the blame for it. But uh, for the most part, it was just like, <coughs> hey, outside of outside of the grades, if you don't get in no fight and, and your chores are done, leave me. Oh, I do remember one time though. Uh, I was I was a freshman. I was a freshman in in, in high school. Mm-hmm. Uh, me and uh, my sister, the youngest sister, friends. She, we we went to school together, and I remember. Ooh, excuse me. I just remember feeling so disconnected uh, with with everyone at the school because uh, I had moved districts. Okay. So um, I lived in, actually, I think I told you, I lived uh, in the part of Mirror Valley that Los lives in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, for that area, I don't know how it is now, but for that area, um, I went to uh, the high school that I was supposed to go to was like down the street from there but we did uh a district transfer so i can go to school with my sister because my brother-in-law worked as a counselor at that school oh, okay, on okay. top of that it was on the way uh to my mom's work so if i were to have gone to the school that i was supposed to it would have been backtracking caused more time to yeah, yeah, yeah. earlier all this other shit so it just made life easier so um i just remember like i don't even know when it was but like i had we had got report cards back and like I was I was failing. I did not care about anything. I didn't care about the people. I didn't care about nothing. I just I was just like being a, a fucking hoodlum. And and you know my sister was arguing because she she was getting great. Yeah. She was like like I, I I don't think top of the class, but she was like she was she was getting like A's and shit in school. So she was yelling at me. I was like. She's like, you need to do better in your grade, yeah, yeah. I was like, you don't understand. Like, I'm fucking like living, and like I, 
I just, I just grab a fit, like I fit, and I, I punch the wall. And I happen to punch like just drywall where there's no fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no stud or, or, or support, and my hand just goes through it. And I go, oh, <laughs> it's funny because we're both screaming like, and like the moment I do it, we both go. <laughs> <laughs> my dad woke up my oh, dad worked no. graveyard shifts he was out he heard it woke up walked out smacked me in the back of my head look what you did you're gonna tell your mother went back to sleep and I just stood there <laughs> and stared at the hole in the wall I was just like god damn it <laughs> I was like damn it I'm gonna die today <laughs> I'm dead I I'm dead. This yeah. is this is the end of my life. And and my sister, she's like, Well, we're gonna figure it out. And I was <laughs> like I was so fucking heated. I was like, Leave me alone. And like she's trying to comfort me, like, oh that's okay, you know, whatever. And like me trying to like like hide everything. I remember I took like every white white substance in the house that I could to try and like patch this wall. And like I didn't punch like a clean hole through, but it was like a good fist size. It's like dead. a bulge. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, like, like the bulge that I left at Sweet Tea's. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you ever watch this, that's a story that we'll get into later. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> hey, long, it's it's over. You didn't know about it. Didn't hurt nobody. Yeah, it didn't hurt nobody. <laughs> it hurt me <laughs> emotionally. I, I was hurt. <laughs> that's why I punched the hole in the wall. <laughs> but uh, I just remember I took like. Like, like fucking like paper glue, uh, like baby powder. I was trying to like paste this hole, like all the edges sealed. I just remember like it, it was fucked up. It looked like, it looked like a bulging anus. <laughs> you can still see the curvature, but then the edges are now raised because of all the, all the glue and shit. I did not know what I was doing back then. And then I know my mom, see, here's the thing. We get home around like two thirty to three. Like that's like when all the school is out and we get home. Uh and then my dad goes to sleep. Then my dad will wake up around six thirty or so when my mom gets home and eat dinner with us and then my dad will go back to sleep. So I knew my dad was gonna tell my mother. Mm-hmm. All right. But uh he said, You're gonna tell her. Like, you're gonna tell her. I'm not gonna tell her, you're gonna tell her. And um I know my dad had told her. Now, looking back, I know my dad had told her. But um, I didn't tell her. Like, we ate dinners quiet as hell. Just eating. Eating. I didn't bring it up. I'm not saying the damn thing. I'm keeping my mouth shut. I'm not, I'm not going to sit on myself. I'm not doing it. <laughs> like, my sister's being quiet. My dad's being quiet. My mom, she's sitting there tired from work. She had just cooked dinner, too. My mom was a gangster. We get done. I put I put my dish in the sink. I run upstairs, go in my room. And so I just I just I just sit in my room, quiet as fuck. You know when you're in trouble. You, <laughs> you know when you're in trouble, and you. I just got brought back just thinking of it. Just just like yeah. and you know you did bad, and you know that an ass whooping's coming. You sit in your room, quiet as fuck, nothing on. Watch the door. You just watch the door, <laughs> and you listen, just look at the noise. you just look at the light under the door. If there's light on the other side, and yeah. you just wait. And you just see a footstep coming, like, oh, God, oh, God, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. It's, it's someone else walking Yeah, by. yeah. Oh, my God. I remember. I just remember the, the next the next week, two weeks, I was on eggshells, bro. Mm. I, I, I kept my mouth shut. Everything was clean. Did my homework. <laughs> didn't make a fucking noise. There wasn't a peep in this fucking, in my room, no sound. What's it like? I didn't turn on the TV. Nothing. I was so I was so paranoid. Like, and she, my mom was the one that would take me to school. Yeah, they take me and my sister to school. So like on the way home, we normally listen to our music on the radio, and I'm just sitting there, just like in the back seat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Friends, she did nothing wrong. She's she's sitting there still listening to music. I can't act. I can't. I I'm sitting in the back seat. If you want to be my interview. lover, yeah. I, my I can't do that. I can't be singing along. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like, no. You, you sing can't. along one note with the fuck so funny. Yeah, you, you can't have fun. You can't. Why did we do that? Why would we? It's the guilt. It's just our our child because, innocence. It's just the guilt. Because we were bad, we aren't allowed to have any other fun. Yeah. But okay, here's the thing though. Did you feel that way when you were sick too? What do you mean? 
if you were sick at home, mm-hmm. would you would you like would you watch TV or play video games or anything? No. Why couldn't you? My mom wouldn't let me. <laughs> but that it even even if I tried, even if I did watch TV, it'd be the lowest volume setting possible. <laughs> Laugh track of the TV show. You're Mute. this close to the TV? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to get the most stimulation? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I hear my mom's footsteps. <laughs> yeah, immediately turn yeah. off. Yeah, <laughs> blanket. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's too much. It's too much. Oh, man. But it's funny because it never got brought up. My, the, whole, the hole in the wall never got brought up. Oh, that's hilarious. My mom never talked about it. But actually, I'm going to ask him. The next time I see him, I'm going to ask him. Because they never brought it up. But I remember when we were moving out of the house. Uh, my brother-in-law, who was the, the counselor at the school, yeah. said, Hey, what's this thing on the wall here? <laughs> Don't I ask said, questions. <laughs> I, I said, Watch the wall. <laughs> he, he just went. <laughs> and walked off. And I was like, Man, I know. When we moved out of Sweet Teas, was that, that bulge still in the, in the bathroom? Oh, it had to be. Had to be right because yeah. we didn't fix it or do anything about it. No, no, no. Yeah, because you did that. Uh, when did Sweeties close? I did. I did like the year before Sweeties closed. Sweeties closed. I think. Oh man, that's rough. Because it was Sweeties closed twenty seventeen. No, 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 no. 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 Twenty fifteen. It's either twenty fourteen or twenty fifteen. I want to say twenty fifteen because twenty thirteen is when I started. No. Oh no no no! It, it had to be. It had to be twenty. Like end of 2014, beginning of 2015, because because um I had started my new job 2014, mm-hmm. but I was still coming in and like still uh like getting the the grocery deliveries. And yeah, stuff. dropping the product and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, <coughs> uh man, that's rough. That's uh yeah, I think it was, yeah, end of 2014, uh, 2015. I remember it was like toward the end of summer too when you did it. I, <laughs> I remember it was toward the end of summer. I had I had just gotten out of work. Mm-hmm. I was like, all right, cool. Let me let me. Uh, and Francis was still working there too, so I was like, okay, I gotta pick her up. Let me let me go. Let me go. Uh, let me go pick her up. Check in with you guys. See what's up. And um, I remember I walked in, and I can always tell, bro, when something's off with you when you when you're not feeling it. I can always tell. I can always tell. I'm like, hey, what up, dog? What's up? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Did you come in? You came in the day after, I think, not the no, night. No, it was of. the day of. Night of? It was, it was the day of. Oh, I remember. Yeah, night I, of. I remember it, it happened at night, and I remember everything that led up to it because, like, I did. You know how like we always had like someone's iPod playing, right? Mm-hmm. And it was this person's iPod that I was with at that time, and I just remember I was changing the song, and I saw the messages, and I saw a text that I wasn't supposed to see, Ugh. but I saw it, and it pissed me off. So obviously I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bring it while we're all working. I also should have just stepped out, but I was just like I gotta go somewhere near. So I'm, I walked towards the back, nothing I could see. Go to the bathroom. I was like, well, I'm at a dead end. I have no other choice. Just I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man. And I remember the first person I told was uh I just told nobody. The first person I brought it up was Sabina. <laughs> she came up. She goes, um, Matuk. There's a hole in the wall in the bathroom, and I remember everyone blamed it on. I forgot her name. It was, it was wasn't it like Ashley or was it? No, no, it definitely wasn't Ashley. It was uh, it was, it was someone as uh, the younger girl. She was younger. She barely knew how to work there. Um, brand new, brand new. I remember because she she joined after I left. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, and of course, obviously, like one of Tito's friends. Yeah, you know, like daughter, like kids, so. yeah. So she was, and I just remember, I re- oh, fuck, I forget her name. and I remember because like, <clears throat> obviously she didn't know how to do anything. So we just tell her to do like, kind of like the grunt work, but like nicely. Yeah. But then she would just catch on an attitude. So we just thought that, you know, everyone thought like, oh, she just had enough and she just punched the hole in the wall. And I was just like, wow, really? <laughs> I remember you told me The that. most straightest face ever too. I was like, wow, Spina. I was like, can you do me a big favor? Can you just put like a sign in front of it? Like, hey. Please flush or keep the bathroom clean. She goes, no problem. I got it. <laughs> but that happened. That happened after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. happened after I. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had seen it because I remember I came in and again I was like, "What up, bro?" I was like, 
okay? I go to the back, whatever, and, like, like I, I was just stuck in traffic. <laughs> I was stuck in traffic for, like, an hour and a half. I was like, God, I got to pee. I go to the bathroom. I look. I was like, motherfucker. I, I just walk out. I was like, bruh. Hit the door! I'm it's metal! Sorry. The door is metal! <laughs> I was like, the door is metal! What are you doing? I remember the only one that actually really knew was, was Brie, because I told her, and, and I was just like, I just felt so bad, because I was just like, well, I got the best of me. <laughs> hey, you're young, dumb, and full of cum. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to put it in someone's tongue, you know what I mean? <laughs> No, bro, that is so, oh, man, because I, I know the feeling. Yeah. We've both been there, man. Yeah. I knew the feeling you were going through. I was like, <laughs> let him work. Let him work. I just remember I was just, I was, let me just keep him to myself. No one's going to know. No, obviously, everyone's going to know because there's a huge little, bul- there's a huge bulge in the bathroom. Yeah. What everyone uses. Yeah. So It's, it's funny because it was like right above the toilet paper <coughs> holder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> like, toilet's right here and then the bulge it's is right, right there. <laughs> Right next to your face, bro. Yep. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. So like for a guy, you would he... just piss and you would just look and be like, hmm. yeah, mm, that's not me. <laughs> I was... <laughs> that's funny because I was like, what the hell is Rossi? <laughs> I was like, his big ass hands. He's the only motherfucker. That shit was hilarious, bro. <laughs> oh man, good times. All right, I think that'll be the end of the first podcast. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, we never decided on the name. Barely Brothers, two uh, big bears, or big bears, barely brothers, two bear, two, two big to bear, two. Oh yeah, too big to bear. Um, that was a good one. I don't, yeah, I don't, that's gonna be a. Uh, uh, it's it's in the works. We'll figure it works. out. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Uh, help us uh, increase our reach. You know what I'm saying? Share this with your friends, family. Sorry. For the sky. <laughs> put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your, put your, uh, okay, time out. When you dance, when I dance, dance with your hands up or hands down? Depends. Depends on the dance. I know, but most the just your go to when you when you dance. Where's your hands usually? Uh, it's more like the the hips. Hips. Yeah, just kind of grooving. Okay. Does it ever go like okay? Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, it depends. Okay. Uh, yeah, you see, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, it depends too. But I've if noticed. I'm in the rock, we'll yeah, die. my hands usually are always up here though, for me. Uh, your your move is the power thrust. Boop, 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 boop. All right. We'll Sorry. see you guys later. Peace. Peace.